Murphy. You can call me Murph. Are you ready to worship? Yes! Yes! yes. We're ready to worship! Take it away, Kurt. What's up, everybody? My name's Kirk, and welcome to Connect. I'm super excited that you're here. I have a question for you. What makes you more sad? Broken toys or sad puppies? Well, when you see something that makes you sad, maybe there's something you can do to change it. Our point reminds us of that. I'm gonna say it. I need you to repeat it after me. Are you ready? Here we go. Fight evil and make a difference. Fantastic job, all right. Now it's time for us to go into that favorite time of Connect, worship. Let's go to Connect HQ right now to learn more. When it's showtime, it's okay to just sit back and watch. But when it's worship time, everybody gets up to sing. The songs that Connect are an excellent way to let God know that He comes first in our life. Nothing can stop us from showing Him that He deserves our best singing and our endless energy. So get up on your feet and let's connect to God together. Jesus, let my 
to say goodbye to you, Luke. Things will not be the same around here without you. I knew it would be hard, so that is why I came up with this. New safety codes? Oh, these are goodbye codes to keep our goodbyes a little less emotional. And you, Captain, are in violation of goodbye code 1699, which clearly states that true friends for having to say goodbye should always remember that we will see each other again. That's a good one. And be careful not to violate code 435. Well, what does that one say? Well, that clearly states that good captains, which is exactly what you are, Ray, a very good captain. Good captains should always stay in touch and reach out for anything at all. I will. Don't make me cry, Luke. Oh, I wouldn't, because that would be a goodbye code 5568. <laughs> mm. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Mike, and this is the time a dear friend left to change the world. 
What did you get me? It's for Luke. Why? He is leaving us, and he does not get a present for that. Well, with his new position at the elementary school safety agency, he's going out there and he's going to keep kids safe all across America. Aren't you proud of him? No, we need him here. Are you going to be a grump all day? I know it'll cheer you up. I'm not in the mood for tape face. I don't like it when people leave. I don't want things to change. But he's leaving for a great reason. He saw a need and now he's going out into the world to make a difference, just like Nehemiah. Mike, I am not in the mood for a Bible story either. Dad, I know you're upset, but you can either let evil get the best of you or you can do something about it. And the dot I know would fight evil and make a difference. You know what? You're right. The dot I am wouldn't just slump around because Luke is leaving. Dot is going to do something about this. Dot is going to fight evil and make a difference. Thanks, Tape Face. Glad I could cheer you up. Oh! Why do I keep doing this? Now, there's a guy who loves his donuts. Dot, okay, good. I'm so happy that you're here. Maybe you can help me. So, I'm still trying to make a good first impression since I'm new, um, but I don't know how people like their donuts arranged. Arranged? Yeah, yeah, whenever I open the box to give them a donut, do they like it vertically or horizontally? They should be delicious. And not squished with fingerprints all over them. Yeah, you're probably right. Uh, Ugh. Now I got sticky fingers. Thank you. Tony, is there something in your life that always upsets you and gets you really, really mad? Well, sticky fingers is on the list. But also mushrooms. Bleh. Um, getting gum on the bottom of my shoes. And, um, well, just feeling left out, you know. But mushrooms will always be mushrooms. What about... Something deep that God made you to care about. Something big you want to change. Oh, you mean like Nehemiah and the wall? This is no time for a Bible story! <sighs> I've got a plan to right or wrong. Does that sound like something you want to help out with? You want to help me stop some evil? It sounds intense, and I do love a good plan. Cool. You're going to need these. Oh. Going away gifts are a violation of goodbye code 2828. We don't need any more of your codes, man. Just open your gift. And it's not that big a deal. It's a new pair of Lucky Socks. They're for your feet. I thought they might be. <laughs> you can think about us anytime you wear them. You know, I wanted to get you a surfboard, but then I realized that a surfboard might be really hard to pack and you don't surf. Well, I love them. Thank you, guys. Man, it's such an inspiration to see you following God and going out into the world and making a difference. You know, that it's always been a passion of mine to help keep people safe, especially kids. And even though this new job is going to take me away from some amazing coworkers, it would allow me to make some major changes in our school systems and help keep kids safe. It sounds perfect for you. It's the right step. I've prayed about it a lot and had some really great chats with Mike about it that helped me realize I made a good choice. <sighs> We're going to be sad to see you go, man. But. I'm excited that we get to get back to being as unsafe as we were as before you got here. I'm just kidding. We've all learned so much from you. Like why slingshots are dangerous. Or why you shouldn't use a blowtorch and a skateboard at the same time indoors. Or outdoors. That shouldn't be done anywhere. Ah, uh, agree to disagree, my friend. Now put on those lucky socks and go make the world safe. We'll be praying for you. You coming, Tony? Yeah. Sorry, just hard to get around with these uh, flippers on. Well, you're gonna thank me for those flippers when this room fills with water. Yeah, I guess you're right. What? When this room is wall to wall water, you're gonna want those goggles to be down. Wait, 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 wait. When you said we were gonna break safety code 4000, you never said anything about water. I'm, I'm not prepared for this. Uh, there's, there's plugged in TVs in here, you know. Safety code 4000 is the biggest, baddest safety code we can break. No filling connect HQ with water. When he sees how unsafe it is around here, 
it will send a clear message that Luke can't leave us. Wait, is, it, is this about Luke leaving? This is about evil. Luke leaving is evil. And I'm going to fight that evil by filling this room with gallons upon gallons of water. Oh, let's just, let's talk about this for a second, okay? Okay, or not. Um, I uh, don't think this is a good idea. There is no time to think about this. He's leaving soon, and it will take a while to fill this room. Now, once it's full, I'll go tell him you're stuck in here. And I'll really, really need you to sell it. Thrash around like this. Now, just put the hose down for a second and look at me. Listen, Luke leaving isn't evil, okay? He's using his God-given talents to go out and change something that's wrong in the world. Yeah, that's what everyone keeps telling me. But what about my world? What about me? Well, if you, if you stand in his way, if you <laughs> fill this room up with water, you're not, you're not helping Luke fight evil. You're holding him back. But it hurts. He's my friend. I know. And I'm going to miss him. I know. And I know it doesn't make it any easier, but, but as his friend and as a follower of Jesus, you can choose to fight evil and make a difference. I thought I was. Well, you can't make a difference in his choice, but you can in how you look at the situation. How? Be proud of him. Send him off in a way that he knows that you are rooting for him. I don't know if I can do that. Well, then my suggestion is to pray. Ask God what you should do. And then just like Nehemiah, he'll tell you what you need to do. Good idea. And then also, it's a good idea to talk to a trusted adult before you go off and fight evil. You know, there's, sometimes you need permission and there's things that are dangerous. You know, like um, filling up a room with water. I'll put the hose away. Okay, sounds good. One last baby shake for the road. Wow, these are pretty good. A, a perfect, perfect blend, blend of everything, everything the body needs. <laughs> hey, where's Dot? Is she in here? She hasn't hidden in there in a while. I haven't seen her all day. Well, I was gonna wait until she was here to give you gifts. Just a little something to remember me by. Romans 12, 21. I have a lot of favorite verses, but this is in the top five. You wanna say it with us? I would love to. Say it with me like this. Romans 12, 21. Romans 12, 21. Don't let evil conquer you. Don't let evil conquer you. But conquer evil by doing good. But conquer evil by doing good. Connect HQ is a wonderful place. But there might be days that something bad might walk through those doors and ruin it. But you don't let it. Don't let it stop you from doing the work that you're doing. Continue to do God's good work. And with his help, you will change the world. Thanks, Luke. Oh, and thanks for giving me your safety coat binders. I'll take good care of them. Oh, then I know that you will. Now. What's behind door number two? Where is Dot? You know, I still think I could have gotten a horse in here. Oh, I don't doubt it, but that would be a violation of code. Safety code 672. I know. I'll never forget it. I've been looking for you. I have something for you. I have something for you. I'll go first. Here, watch this. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Through history and poetry
is alive. This is the story of Nehemiah and the Jerusalem Wall. Oh yeah, Nehemiah. I love that story. Nehemiah was a man who was born as a servant to a king and eventually became a cupbearer. One day, a friend of Nehemiah's came to visit him. He told Nehemiah of how the wall in Jerusalem that kept all the people safe had been torn down and destroyed. Nehemiah was very sad when he heard that. He wept and prayed for days for the people of Jerusalem. Nehemiah knew that the wall needed to be rebuilt, but he knew he couldn't leave the palace without the king's permission. God had given Nehemiah much favor with the king. When Nehemiah told the king of what had happened to the wall, the king not only allowed him safe passage through his kingdom, but also funded the trip and the rebuilding of the wall. I wonder if Nehemiah was afraid to leave the land he had known for so long. I'm sure he was afraid, but he chose to trust God and step out on faith instead of giving in to his fear. When Nehemiah arrived in Jerusalem, he gathered a team of people to begin rebuilding the wall. While they built the wall, Nehemiah and his men were made fun of. They were trying to keep them from rebuilding the wall. I wouldn't want people making fun of me. But that didn't stop Nehemiah. He cared more about what God thought of him than what those around him did. Wow, that's so cool. I want to be like Nehemiah. The people worked from sunup to sundown, continuing until the wall was complete. Nehemiah became a leader for the Israelite people, and God took care of him and the people for Nehemiah's choice to obey him. God takes care of those who follow his commands. And when you take the initiative to do good, then your light shines even brighter. See a need, fill a need, just like Nehemiah. I want you to take this story with you because you remind me of Nehemiah. You see a need and you fill it. That's one of the things I'll miss most. I'm going to miss you guys too. It's hard to go. But you have to. God is with you. Go fix those broken down walls like Nehemiah. Go keep those kids safe like you kept us safe here. Go shine your light, big guy. Thanks, Dot. You know, I thought that you would have some plan to create a crazy stunt to make me stay. Who, me? Never. I would never even dream of filling the building with water. A code 4,000? That would be something. But you know what to do if that happens. Remind me. Okay, well, the first thing that you want to do is open in and all windows. And then you have to secure. Hi, my name is Dot. And I'm Luke. This is an important connection transmission for our archives. We learn this verse in the Book of Romans. Say it with us like this. Romans 12, 21. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. Don't let something bad stand in your way. Pray and do something good about it. That's conquering evil with good. When Nehemiah heard that the walls in his hometown were destroyed, it made him upset. He was motivated to do something about it. He didn't let fear stop him from making a difference and traveling a long distance to fix those walls. He even inspired other people to help. God helped them rebuild the city. If something really upsets you, you can let evil get the best of you and let it ruin your day. Or you can conquer evil by doing good, like asking God for help about what you can do. No matter what, keep praying. God will show you what you can do to change the world. What's something that upsets you? Maybe it's when you see your friends are hurting around you. Or maybe you know someone who needs help. Let's start today by praying how you can be like Nehemiah and make a difference in the world around you. Once you get out there and start doing good, you'll inspire others. Fight evil and make a difference. I cannot wait to see how you all change the world. This is Luke, signing off. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. You know, Connect HQ needs a pool. We could put it up on the roof! An Olympic-sized pool with giant waves! Fighting evil and making a difference is something that each and every one of us can do. You can fight evil by doing something good. And the best way to know what good things to do is by following Jesus. Jesus lived a perfect life to show us how to do good things every day. If you've never made the choice to follow Jesus with your life, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. 
Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you are forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect Small Group leader before you leave. That is the most important decision that you can make. Be sure to talk to a trusted adult before we leave today to learn more about it. All right, we have a verse that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it. I need you to say it with me. Are you ready? Here we go. Romans 12, 21. Don't let evil conquer you, but conquer evil by doing good. Fantastic job. So in our Bible story, Nehemiah was upset that his city was unprotected. So he did something about it. He built a wall. Let's try that. Find some pieces of paper, just like this, some things to write with or draw with. I've got a marker here and some tape. Talk about some evil, bad situations that bother you to see what you can do to make a difference. And then write or draw the good things you think of on the paper. Pretend they're bricks and then tape them together to build a wall. Maybe you can even hang the wall on your wall. Pray together for God to help you fight evil and make a difference. Pause the video and do the activity right now. Check out my wall. When you talk about the bad situations that bother you, pray about them and work together with trusted adults. You really can make a difference, no matter how big the problem seems. Now we have some fantastic questions for you and your family to answer. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining me in Connect today, and I will see you later.